Among the citrus plantations, orange cultivation is one of the major plantations. India is third largest producer of oranges in the world, while Maharashtra is the leading producer of oranges in the country, Nagpur, which is the capital as far as the orange cultivation is concerned, that's why it is also called as orange capital of India. Various types of varieties, very specifically the export quality varieties, they are cultivated in Maharashtra and very specifically in the vicinity of Nagpur. Now, we are into the central Maharashtra, very specifically south central Maharashtra in Ahmednagar district or Ailabai Nagar district, where we came to look into the conditions of the orange plantation, where largely because of the lack of proper pruning on a particular time and lack of canopy development, you now the farmers they are in distress, they are frustrated and number of farmers they are uh, uprooting the plantations in the southern part of the Maharashtra. Now, there are certain aspects which the, every farmer needs to uh, take into consideration so that maximum production can be taken and very specifically the export quality, uh, the fruit can be developed. Now, as far as the plantation is concerned, starting from the plant development, here proper fertigation which is required, along with the fertigation, proper spraying is required. All these things are done by the farmers on time when they are properly advanced. Now, the major problem which comes because of which such type of uh, lack of pruning and proper canopy development occurs, it is largely because the proper pruning is not done on a proper time because of which we will find that such type of hard streams they are developed. Now, once the plant goes on the hard stems, naturally it does not causes the required flowering, right. So, the proper pruning on a proper time, that is very, very important. Now, here proper pruning was not done because of which proper flowering is not occurring. So, we are going for a treatment wherein we are giving some of the substitute chemicals in such a way that the plant will be in a position to uptake the fertilizers, basic fertilizers like nitrogen or NPK2, which we call it, right. Now, there are three important primary fertilizers where nitrogen is there and the nitrogen is required for proper circulation of different types of fertilizers as well as the water. So, the basic function of nitrogen is proper circulation. Second is phosphate. Now, phosphate is required for a proper stem development, proper flowering at a particular time. Like in case of oranges, the flowering and the new fruit development occurs largely in the month of June, July and all these months. So, before that, proper stem development is required. For that purpose, the pruning of these uh, now, this needs to be properly pruned because here you will not find any kind of water and all these things in this, right. So, here before spraying, proper pruning, removal of all these is removed, uh, required. Once it is done, then whatever sprays we give, they are properly applied and then in next season, you can have a proper canopy development. Now, if you look at the green canopy upside. Here you will find that the canopy is at very high level, largely because of the lack of proper pruning. Now here, even in those where the proper pruning was not done, here you will find that whatever spray and whatever drip uh, fertigations we did around 20 days back, a little flowering is occurring on this, right? And by June, probably we will get the proper result out of it. Second, as far as the watering is concerned, in case of orange cultivation, here open watering is required at least after 10-20 days. And once the open watering is done, then through the drip irrigation, in between, in two spells, here water can be given. Right? So, proper watering is very important in case of the plantations and very specifically into the orange cultivation. So, once after 
15 days once we open watering and then in between two spells of drip irrigation that is very important that needs to be done second whatever roots are concerned there are two types of roots the roots which are very closer they holds the tree, tree. and second the roots which are wandering here and there and reach to the in between area which is uh, suggested by the universities that in between area should be opened so that these roots can be expanded right whatever fertigation whatever water is required that needs to be done in these areas if it is done then proper canopy is developed proper flowering is there and then farmer can expect a better production in the next season so we came to this farm largely for renewing this plantation with this objective now very soon we'll remove the uh, dead branches because it uh, the dead branches are developed largely because of lack of proper pruning at proper time right so this time we'll remove these dead branches and then for next time we'll go for a proper pruning and proper canopy development so i am very thankful to the sir sir purcha vais apan yala ekdam vyavasthit pane ani apan ji margadarshan dile ते खूप मोलाचं आहे दुसरी गोष्ट म्हणजे जे वीस ते पंचवीस दिवस झाले आणि आपली दुसरी विजिट आहे तर आत्ताच मी तुम्हाला फांदी दाखवलेली आहे की माझं जी काडी झालेली आहे आणि मोठ्या प्रमाणात काडी वाळलेली आहे परंतु आत्ताच जर बघितलं तर जर समजा ही जर फांदी बघितली तर ही पूर्ण वाळलेली दिसते आणि माझ्या हिशोबाने पूर्ण वाळलेली होती परंतु त्याच्यामध्ये सुद्धा आपण आता जर फुट बघितली तर पूर्ण फांदी जी फुटवे निघाला तर पूर्ण इथपासून फुटवे तर मग ह्याच आधारे एक पंचवीस दिवसाच्या अनुभवाच्या आधारे एक स्प्रे आणि एक ड्रीप वॉटर जी औषध सोडलेलं आहे दहा लिटर आणि समजा एक स्प्रे घेतला 